Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to show you my skincare routine. So I'm gonna start off with my morning skincare routine. So this is what I do after I brush my teeth. Um, I'll start off by saying that I have oily skin mainly. Um, I don't know whether to also say combination because oil is my main like issue, concern. But I do also, I can also suffer from dryness and flakiness, especially like on my nose and things like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you through what I do to my skin. So first things first, I go in with a cleanser. Um, I do cleanse in the morning. I love the Super Facialist Salicylic um, Acid Cleanser. It's for blemish prone skin. I have honestly been using this for years, like even since I started my channel I think, which is going on six years now. So this is just like a holy grail product for me. I use it because it's got salicylic acid in it and I also, I forgot to mention before, sorry, have um, acne prone skin. Um, my skin I feel like is looking a little bit better because I have been trying to keep up with my skincare so I don't have that many blemishes at all. Um, I can feel a nice under the skin spot forming um, so yes and I also love this kind of before I knew uh, much about acids but it makes my skin so smooth because it gets rid of that top layer of dead skin so I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse with this and then I wash off with a flannel um, these are integral to my routine they um, are a physical exfoliant and it's just the best way to get product off your face. Hello everyone, so my teeth have been brushed and now I'm going to go in with my cleanser. I usually go in onto a dry face, I hear that's what you're supposed to do with cleanser. Um, the only exception to this is when I use a bar of soap because otherwise it won't work and it won't lather. So I like to do this for about 60 seconds so I just time it in my head and then go from there. And if it gets a bit dry I just wet my hands and re-lather it up. I just rinse that off with warm water and then wipe my face down with my flannel. I also like to just rub across my lips to get rid of any dead skin that might be hanging around. Um, and then I like to push on my nose like this to kind of empty those pores. And clean them out but usually if I've been doing my skincare it's not too bad then I just rinse off my flannel and then I pop it on the radiator now that my skin is clean I'm gonna go in with this um, Paul's Choice um, salicylic acid solution so this is gonna be like my toner This is the Lancome Tonic Comfort, um, and then I use that just to give the skin some hydration after the some acid. I will say I don't really like um, this product very much. Um, it's only recently kind of stopped stinging when it goes on my skin. I don't know what it is that doesn't agree with my skin, but it does the hydrating job. And I always like to take the pad behind my ears because that gets dirty, needs cleaning too. And I always take it down my neck. 
Now that's done, it's time for a spray. I didn't really used to use these before, but I've been reading Caroline Hiron's um, book, Skincare, which I will link below. Um, and also, even before her book, she's always been talking about sprays, so they're just good for an extra boost of hydration. So I have one, so I'm going to use it. The one I have is the Disciple Balancing Mist. I know some people um, don't mind and like to kind of put stuff on a wet face but I prefer to let everything sink in properly before I start adding the next product. Okay that's sunk in now and you're going to have to excuse me but I'm going to be looking at my phone because I want to inform you um, about the products that I'm using. So first I go in with the Alpha Arbutin um, and Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. Um, and the Alpha Arbutin um, targets hyperpigmentation, age spots, dark spots, marks and scars by inhibiting melanin. Um, and then the hyaluronic acid helps reduce the visibility of fine lines, wrinkles. It helps with retaining moisture in the skin and creates a plumping effect. When the skin is protected and hydrated, increased cell production can take place as the skin isn't busy fighting for hydration. Um, this leads to smoother, plumper skin cells, and I believe hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so it likes to draw moisture in, so um, it's not advisable to just like put on hyaluronic acid and then nothing, because it will just kind of take over one skin, so it's good to put something moisturising on top. I just get a pipette's worth, and then I do a therapist swipe, which is when you put the product in one palm, and then put your other palm on top of it um, at a right angle and then you swipe and then pull and this evenly distributes the product on your hands. I also learned that from Caroline Hiron because I was not sure about what I was doing. I like to rub this in until it is completely in the skin and absorbed the excess on the back of my hands. Next I go in with um, the Buffet from The Ordinary which I believe is just a series of peptides. Peptides um, help improve the skin barrier, increase skin elasticity, ease inflammation, can help clear breakouts, it hydrates, moisturises and helps exfoliate and brighten the skin. It helps boost collagen formation, reduce inflammation, um, protects against sun damage and helps with reduce hyperpigmentation um, which can help to reduce scars. Um, it also helps with fine lines and boosts immunity. I did not know this um, so I'm very chuffed. I was actually thinking of stopping using this because I was thinking oh I don't really need it but after reading its benefits um, I will definitely repurchase. Um, and again therapists swipe I go in with the Absorbic Acid 8% and Alpha Arbutin and this is a derivative of Vitamin C I believe um, and Vitamin C promotes collagen production which has the potential to thicken the dermis, um, diminish fine lines and is essential for firm youthful skin. It helps with hyperpigmentation, brightness, redness and is hydrating and also protects protects against sun damage. Um, I don't like this formula very much. I'm going to go back to a different one I was using before um, because this is an oil and I don't like it. I don't mind using oils despite having oily skin but this has like a consistency and a heaviness I don't enjoy. I don't know if you can see but there's still quite a lot of oil on my hands. Um, because it's quite heavy oil, I have to wait a while for it to sink into my skin and then I put on my moisturiser or SPF. Hello everyone, I've let the oil sink in now and I'm going to go in with this moisturising SPF. I know that you're supposed to use a moisturiser and then a dedicated SPF, but 
um because i have oily skin i just find that it's too much um for me personally so maybe don't do what i'm saying but this is what works for me this is the um body shop uh vitamin c spf 30 um and that's good enough for this time of year apparently you need like a walnut size walnut sized amount which is quite a lot of product um so i'm gonna pop that on and then you need to let this um get absorbed into the skin and the reason why you need a decent amount is that if you don't use the decent amount you won't get um the full um benefit of its uv properties even though it doesn't look like it currently i like this um spf because i'm darker it doesn't leave a white cast on the skin it's nice and it absorbs um well i just need to take my time to really rub it in absorbed into my skin I'm gonna give it a bit more time to just absorb itself um, and then that's me done for the morning um, I would just you know pop on any sort of lip balm but if I am going out again it's good to use SPF on my lips um, I never thought about that before but I did burn my lips one time on holiday so I try and use SPF I go to our Nivea um, they do a 15 and 30 SPF. Um, I don't know if they do anything stronger than this. I'm sure something stronger than this exists out there, but I've not come across it. Um, but it's not that much issue to reapply, um, whereas it's a bit of a faff to constantly reapply to your whole face without the spray. That is something that I'm missing from my routine is an SPF um spray so you can top up your spf without having to like slather on cream or like ruin makeup yes i hope you enjoyed um coming with me on my morning routine um i hope that it was useful um and mildly entertaining or you learned something or you know you're just being nosy um thank you so much for watching my morning routine and roll on my evening routine good evening everyone um, thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to show you my evening skincare routine. Um, it's going to be a bit different today because I've got makeup on. So there are some stages that are going to go before what I usually do. Um, because I've got makeup on, I'm going to do a double cleanse. Um, so I'll first go in with an oil. And also I need to remove my mascara and eye makeup. To remove my mascara, I like to use a micellar water or if we have them in the house, wipes. Um, and if I had wipes I would take off like the first layer of makeup but I would never use that as the be all and end all um, when it comes to um, cleansing. So the main thing I want to do is kind of get this mascara off because it's a bit more fiddly and difficult when using an oil. So I just kind of squeeze my eye and rub back and forth along the lashes and then I flip over the cotton pad because it's saturated and then just do that on the other eye. So that is all done, I'm going to go in with a oil now. So I'm going to go in with the pie, um, I think it's the rose hip cleanser and some time ago I used to use rosehip oil um, from The Ordinary um, just as my evening oil and rosehip lightens visible sun damage, age spots or scars. So this is what I'll be using, it's the Lightwork Rosehip Cleansing Oil by Pi um, and I'm going to take this over to the sink, get a good, good amount of it in my hands, rub it all over my face, get some water, emulsify it and then um, rinse that off and wipe my face down with the flannel and I'll do that twice to try and get off all the makeup and then I will go in with a bar of soap um, of kojic acid so technically I'm doing a triple cleanse.
so that is my first cleanser and I'm going to go in with that again. So I have managed to do that the second time. I'm now going to go in with this Kojic Acid and um, let me tell you a little bit about that. Kojic Acid contains some antimicrobial and antimicrobial properties, exfoliates, brightens, tightens and hydrates for smooth, even and energised complexion that's all about the glow without the irritation. So um, this is the only instance where I would wet my face before cleansing um, because of the kind of soap that it is. Because it's like proper bar of soap, it does kind of um, leave your face squeaky clean, but I don't mind that um, and I like that on days where I haven't been wearing um, makeup, um, I think this gets rid of SPF and all the product on my face really well because um, it just, you know, everything kind of comes off and I do find that it really is great for exfoliating um, dead skin. And then I grab it. It does have some little um, bits in it that are exfoliating, but I find they're a bit harsh. So I just really gently um, move it in circular motions and try and build up a lather um, on my face. hands a little bit and I rub that into my face like a lather and top up the water on my hands um, anytime it dries out. So I'm done with that, I'm going to rinse off and wipe down with my flannel. So now that my skin is all clear, I am going to go in with some acid. Um, again, because I'm blemish prone, I go in with this. This is the Nip and Fab um, Salicylic Acid Night Pads. Um, and I take one of these and I sweep them across the face. After that I go in with this um, Ran Ready Steady Glow Tonic um, and I put that on some cotton wool. I absolutely love the packaging of this because it's a pump and I take three pumps and I find that's more than enough. <laughs> Sweep that across the face. Um, I'm just going to tell you what the benefits of that are. It exfoliates, brightens, um, tightens and hydrates for a smooth, even and energised complexion. Um, that's all glow without the irritation. So I just let that sink into the skin. Um, and whilst that does that, I like to go in with a balancing mist. Um, just some sort of hydrating mist. Um, I didn't tend to use these, but Caroline Hirons in her, in general, recommends it and it's in her skincare book. Um, and this was gifted to me, so I might as well use it. So I let that sink into the skin. I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. Now that's all sunk into my skin, I'm gonna go in with my serums treatments. So the first one I like to go in with is the Niacinamide and Zinc by The Ordinary. Um, and I just put it, pop it in the palm of my hand, do the therapist swipe and massage that into the skin. retinol oh but before that I should tell you what niacinamide and zinc does niacinamide um helps with immunity it helps build keratin 
the type of protein that keeps your skin firm and healthy. It's a great lipid barrier, minimizes redness and blotchiness, and it minimizes pore appearance. Um, it regulates oil production, protects against sun damage, treats hyperpigmentation, minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, protects against oxidative stress, treats acne, and as for the zinc, it behaves like an antioxidant. So now I'm gonna go in for my retinol by The Ordinary. This is the Granactive Retinoid 2% Emulsion. Um, it, I've only tried retinol from The Ordinary and this is my favorite one. And I believe the highest percentage they do. My skin feels and looks plumper the day after I used it. So again, I just did the therapist swipe and I'm just massaging that into my skin. You are recommended to leave about 20 minutes to 30 minutes for this to sink into the skin before you apply any other products on top because it can make everything pill and, and peel um, but I don't find that to be an issue for me anymore I'm not sure why um, so I just go straight in with my next products so the final product um, in terms of serums is this azelic acid serum from face theory um, I put two pumps of this on and let me tell you the benefits of azelic acid so azelic acid helps clear your pores of bacteria that may be causing irritation or breakouts it reduces inflammation so acne becomes less visible less red less irritated and it gently encourages cell turnover so your skin heals more quickly and scarring is minimized i do two pumps on the tips of my fingers um, and then i just rub that together and then pop that over my face i don't need the therapist swipe with this one because i don't think it lends itself well to that now i'm going to go in with my oil i like to use an oil at night just for my moisturizer this is the Bjork Berries Raspberry and Bicutual Firming Face Oil. And just one pipette into the palm of my hand. Therapist swipe. And then rub that into the skin. So the benefits of Bicutual Oil is that it's a potent antioxidant. It's considered like a less invasive form of retinols or vitamin A's which is what I just used before that no two products before that um, it visibly reduces skin discolorations from environmental exposure and has pronounced soothing effects on the skin and it can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles finally we have what's left of this Garnier organic um, restoring health hemp gel cream um, I don't know if it's meant to be a night cream but I was using it with the accompanying face oil which was a night cream so I'm gonna pop this on I know it might seem weird to put moisturizer on top of oil but this is what Caroline Hirons recommends you do and I quite like it um, and I guess it's because the moisturizer is has always meant to be the last step which locks everything in so it's worth putting that on top of an oil even though it seems kind of like the wrong thing to do at first as for the hemp it is moisturizing without clogging pores and can even help balance out oily skin which is great for me because i have oily skin and it's hydrating and regulates the skin's oil production so yes that is my comprehensive skincare routine and i hope you enjoyed i haven't delved into like masks that I use because this is just my everyday routine and I don't use masks every day. Also notice that I don't use an eye cream because I don't think it's necessary at the moment. I'm not worried about like wrinkles or fine lines. I'm also lucky to be black and black don't crack. 
um, and I'm looking after my skin and I bring most of the products up to my eye area anyway so it's not like it's being neglected um, and Caroline Hirons doesn't think that there's anything wrong with not using one as long as you are bringing products up and around that area so yes I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time with another one bye I thought I would just give you a look at what my skin looks like before bed I like to be nice and shiny and glowing so yes thank you so much for watching